And a very good evening to everybody. Good evening, Ruth. Hello, good evening. Good evening, right. Okay, so this has been brought to you today by LA12 live streams, and uh, basically it's been a hell of a couple of weeks for all some rugby where we are so proud, so really proud to announce that we'll be fielding a, a competitive women's rugby league team from Dragley Beck this season. It really is, it really has caused a, a great buzz around the club, you know, and with we, we, we Tosh at the, the helm and pushing diversity inclusion is one of his top priorities. It, it really is something quite exciting. So without further ado, what I want to do is, is, is welcome Ruth Parker, who's a coach of our, our women's rugby league team. Good evening, Ruth. Hello. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. So, Ruth, first of all, just tell us all about yourself. Who are you? Um, Ruth Parker. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I've worked in schools for quite a lot of years and then I got my job down at um, Barrow Raiders. So, I've always enjoyed rugby. My husband's into rugby. Um, my nephew played at Ulverston a lot of years ago, so I've sort of been in and out of the club, you know, it, over the time. Um, and as I say, I went down, I've been at Barrow Raiders now nearly five years, I work for the community team. So I coach rugby in schools, coach girls, coach older people. So yeah, quite a mixed bag, really. Fantastic! That, that 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 that's great. So, so what's the story behind all this? So, how has all this developed, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, be given a massive opportunity to to support you guys? Um. So when when the Super League team uh, went to Barrow Raiders, I think they had a big. I wasn't involved at that time. I was working for the the foundation, but not. I didn't wasn't coaching sort of open age at that time. And I think there was a massive sort of influx of, of females wanting to play the game. And obviously you're only allowed a limited number of players in the Super League team. Um, so the reserves um, were formed off the back of that. Um, and one of the coaches said, would I go as team manager? I already had my coaching qualifications anyway. And I said, yeah, I would be quite happy. So, um yeah, it just went on from there. And then last year, we last season, um, the reserves changed the name to Barrow and District to, just to try and, like, you know, incorporate the whole of the Furnace area and, and beyond, you know, into sort of rugby. Um, and then, yeah, this season, obviously Barrow's priorities as, as a Super League team, it changes massively. So they've um, had to build on a 15s, a 16s and a 19s to, to bring them in line with all the other Super League clubs. Um, and I have been at Ulverston, I have a touch team at Ulverston, um, which we had, you know, a successful season. So I've sort of know a lot of people at Ulverston and they have been real, sort of very good at bringing us in, looking after us as a team. Uh, as, as a Barrow and District team, we've trained at Ulverston for a good part of the season. Um, we've played a couple of games there and uh, we've been to, you know, other, other clubs in the area and trained there. And we've got a lot of the touch girls coming in from around the area into like the, the Barrow and District team. And I think it's Ulverston showed interest um, of having the team come to Ulverston because uh, as I say you know Barrow Raiders they're, they're sort of I don't want to say main priority but the top of their agenda is obviously building on the, the 15, 16s and 19 so it sort of all folded with a conversation I think between um, the Secretary Lisa Jackson and Steve Neal so Fantastic so, so you said yeah. that you've got like a you got like two aspects of something. You got like 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 the have you got the full contact and the touch rugby. Is that is that the way it works? Yeah. What's... So a um, couple of seasons ago, it, it, Lisa Jackson, I say she um, we went down to Ulverston. I think I only had two drinks, and she convinced me to try and build on a girls <laughs> team, and <laughs> don't take much. Um, and, and we did easy, with the age group. Yeah, easy. Um, and we, we had, it was such a mixed bag of girls of ages. Um, so, you know, we, we went with that and then a few girls drop out, they, they go and do other things, you know, it's, it, 
you either like rugby or, or you don't it's it, the contact element is not for everyone we didn't get to that point and then i sort of like i started the touch team and a lot of so you can play touch from 14 plus so a lot of the the few of the girls that were over that age have come on the touch team because it's just playing rugby to them you know it's I think people think our oh, touch is easy but it is quite fast paced and we went we entered the league uh, this season um Barrow had already been doing it felt like it's been two seasons now but they didn't have a league they were just doing it, it was more like a fun touch so this year it was was a league um, and I entered the ladies team and we finished top on points which was it was massive for us because we played the first time we'd all played together we played in the under 16s kit so you can imagine <laughs> yeah women try to <laughs> squeeze into the under 16s kit i know um yeah and we we played at walney we played dalton i think we drew nil nil with them and then we lost to walney two nil um and i look back and i just think we we're just a, a very mixed bag of age groups from 14 to 53. some had right. never even held a rugby ball before never mind throw it catch it run with it do you know what i mean draw defenders in they, they just, i don't want to say they didn't have a clue but they it was alien to them and that was that we would come away and we we're like right this is what we need to work on and it's great having my husband especially is on the sideline we need to do this you need to do that you need to do the other right do you want to coach us and he's like no so i'm like right sure up then um and we worked hard yeah we I'll worked hard I'll dare i know we worked hard on a saturday morning we train on a saturday morning 10 till 11 and we yeah we just we just went from strength to strength as i say we finished top um of the table which we didn't we didn't expect to be there at all um and then we played we won the semi-final and then we lost to walney um in the final but uh, it the group is such a good group like i say we, our our age group is 14 to 53 um that, that, it, that's really, i mean introducing you know people who've never touched a rugby ball before into the game to create a com like, like a, a community in all yeah. the things that's what they do on it it'll eventually yeah it'll end up being like a real a real good community it's, it's so important and that's something oh, you must I mean, be really proud of. yeah i i mean the group that i'm with i mean some of like i say they've some have watched rugby before some of the ones <coughs> that are there the kids have played rugby um like i say we've got a couple that have never never even ran do you know what i mean the sport they've not done since they were at school um and we've become you know like any i think we're just because of the age group we've got the young ones have got so much patience with the older ones because we've got a couple of young like they say 14 year olds that play competitive rugby mm -hmm. um so they bring they bring on the old ones but the old ones you know i, I think everyone gets something out of everybody really yeah i think i think bringing in you know we, we well it's all about developing the youth and everything don't we which is absolutely the right thing we need to do yeah but people all the people like like me for example you know getting their enjoyment in the game as well it is it's so yeah. important isn't it because you know you, you yeah. just yeah absolutely get that absolutely get that. it's really really impressive no it's um, we had one of our social you know it's one of them if you make it you make it if you don't you don't and one of our you know one of our social events that we went to you know as, as a team um was the um oh, the memorial game mm -hmm. that ended yeah. up getting cut short <laughs> yes yes yeah. yeah so that got cut short so we ended up in the bar but yeah no it was there we go <laughs> as usual yeah um we've got we've got the touch team we've got our presentation night in a few weeks you know we've got social events and we're trying to make it so we do something that obviously the younger end can um can join in with us so it's you know it's not just nights mm. out and 
you know, whatever have you. So yeah, they've, they've you know, they're, they're a great bunch of uh, ladies and a few of them have, you know, this season trained with like the Barron district team. And I think a few mm. are still hoping to, you know, come back and train now with like, what is the Ulverston team? So. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, so, so how how is this going to work then? So you've got you've got the Super League team, and where you were called the reserves. I mean, the, the link's going to be still very strong, isn't it, between what is now the Ulverston yeah. Rugby League and and, yeah. and the Super League team? How how is that going to work? So, um, yeah, I don't. I, well, Steve has uh, the conversation, and obviously in his statement, he um he, he said obviously what he still want you know the strong links because. Of, our area we don't have the same teams you know like as St Helens and Round Wigan area do you know what I mean it's you've got Barrow Super League team you've got Workington up the coast that are, you know doing marvellous job you know they've they've they won this season won't finish top of the table they're going into league one um but we don't have you know there isn't Hindpool and Barrow Island they've got they've got some girls teams but nobody's got a women's team you know you've got to be 17 to play there, there isn't that in this area so um the strong links will still be there um like I say in Steve's statement he, he said the likelihood is that the fringe players from Barrow will possible dual reg with Ulverston so they get the playing time you know it's like if you don't play you don't learn you don't yeah. get fitter, you know, you don't get game fit, do you? Um, yeah. And then there's also the under 19s playing opportunity for them as well, which some of our old, uh, Baron district players are under 19s. Obviously, they'll come to, over, you know, they'll, hopefully they'll, you know, come stay at Ulverston. So the, there's the opportunity there. And I think it would just work like all the other Super League clubs, mm. you know, out of the area yeah. that work with, who we, I, don't, I don't know who they work with. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm, I'm, yeah. what I'm trying to visualise here, and I think, I think where I'm coming from with this is that, is that being the feeder, an obvious feeder into the Super League team is something yeah. which is fantastic. So I, I, I've assumed there that Steve Neal and, and the guys and, and Crestron and all guys out about rugby uh, will be looked to say, right, well, what we'd like you to do is go and play say for Ulverson's women team in this division, we want to come and have a look at you and then we'll see. Is, is that the sort of route yeah. you think we're going to look at? I, I, I would like to think so, yeah. Um, like I say, mm. we, the, there was, you know, the reserves um, over the last couple of seasons, there was a lot of our play, you know, players that have played for us, you know, Barron District now Ulverston have played for us and, and moved to Super League. I mean, my daughter was one of them. Um, she played, I think, a season in the reserves, you know, and then got called up to the Super League team. Um, same with quite a lot, you know, of, of some girls from Ulverston, some girls, you know, local in the area, they played for our team and then been called up to Super League or, you know, they've trialled um, and been successful. So, which is, you know, which is yeah. good. Um, you know, Barrow's Super League team is all Cumbrian. So it's um, not doing too yeah, bad so for this it's, corner it's, of... Yeah. I suppose the, 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 this is, this, the model's there, isn't it? It feels as if there's a model yeah. there that could be used yeah. to say, okay, okay, girls, you know. And this isn't about, you know, it, this is about development of, of kids and players coming through. But to give them a pathway, which will be through you guys, to develop their open age yeah. rugby, then to develop into potential Super League, you know, if that model is worked at, and I, and I suppose I'm talking to maybe maybe Steve Neal here and Co. to see if that model's worked at, that's a model that will work because it's a standard standard thing to do. Yeah. So that'll be interesting yeah. to see how, how it develops, won't it, over the over the next yeah. next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's one of them. It'd be. You know, for the for the girls especially, you know, from any age, it'd be it'd be good if there was more girls teams in the area. You know, then they wouldn't yeah. have to travel. Coaching, you know, coaches is coaches are so expensive now that yeah. if there was four or five teams local, you wouldn't need to be going away. You know, it it'd be 
you know, it'd be better. I mean, yeah. you could play them more as well. Yeah, so, and I guess that's it, isn't it? You know, I mean, I mean, obviously there's a finance side of things, but that's what our committee's yeah. there to try and help do. Yeah. I, I know you're probably with some of your own sponsors and what have you, but that's, Tosh will get all over that. You know, he'll be crawling yeah. all over it to make sure it can be the best success we possibly can yeah. be. And I thought oh, that is badgering you already. Uh, no, he hasn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well he will be trust me <laughs> he, he really will be because he'll, he'll, he'll want yet. to get the best for you guys he really will want to get the best for you guys that that's one thing about this club hey eh, ruth is that you know with, with with tosh winfield coming in he's certainly got the direction now and 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 yeah. i think you'll like that you you, you really yeah. will like that well I've, I've sort of like with with having the touch team and everything like that you know <laughs> let's say they've they've been supportive mm. uh, with the touch team so yeah, um, you know, obviously it'll go, hopefully, you know, it'll yeah. stay the same, just, you know, it won't just not be any different. Yeah, I, I think so. so. So what, sorry, and this is out of ignorance, so what, what league are you actually in then, Ruth? So we um, will hopefully be in League Two, which is, is the league um, that we've been in for the last sort of couple of seasons. Um, I think there is meant to be eight teams in that league this season so obviously that's quite a lot of playing opportunity um yeah i don't know what teams will be in there because obviously teams move up teams drop out new teams mm. are forming you know um i follow one of the women's league um on facebook and there's lots of new teams popping up all over you know everybody's mm. trying to do the bit in promoting the game and especially for females so you know, hopefully it'll be um, it'll be a good good no, season. No. So, so, so I guess another question then is: is that you said you go around the schools already now? Um, yeah. And do coaching. What, what sort of feedback do you get from from the schools and the lasses in the schools? What sort of interest are you generating? Um, we like I say, it, I've I've done it for like nearly five years. Football is got quite a stronghold in this area unfortunately for girls and I think I think there's still a bit of you know my mum says to me I don't know why you play rugby I don't know why you're involved in rugby it's not a girls game you know and I think it's that you know for her her age it's a bit of that mindset um mm. and I think some girls worry about the contact element some girls don't care about the contact element but in primary school you 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 don't teach contact anyway it's all about the skill and its tag um which isn't a bad thing because it's it's a good way to build up skills um secondary schools their contact but um i know uh I, I, I was working with Ellis and he was he was in at Dowdales and they had a bit of a tag tournament and I think the girls were quite comfortable with that and I'm I think you've got to build that confidence you know running in at somebody is not mm. not easy for some people you know somebody running at you and knocking you down isn't easy Um, so you know I think there's steps but it, it's you know we've had a lot of kids come our way we feed them out to the community clubs um but yeah it i say football's probably got quite a stronghold really around here for for girls uh, yeah I, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think we might struggle with that one a little bit but you know it, it doesn't matter coming second to that some of the times as long as you get some people through what, what what do you think we need to do to promote women's rugby a bit more is there anything else we can do and well there's a bit of a leading question i'm thinking along the lines of like um you know we, we, we what's great britain or england rugby league side but i've not seen it now for, for for months and months i think yeah you know i mean obviously the rfl have got you know things that they're doing it but you, it, it's just promoting it. it it's getting it out there it's you know um mm. it's getting the play it's getting players just your female players into into schools into you know um like it just maybe down to you know Ulverston when the kids are playing because obviously it's mixed age isn't it till is it under 10s or has it gone up oh can't remember. I, can't don't remember. I don't know i don't know i can't no. remember um no, you know, 
and I think it it's not rugby in a, in general isn't on telly as much as what you know your football is is it or it's got better but I think like the mm. women's game is you know it probably needs to be out there a little bit yeah. more it, it, it does you're dead right I mean even if it was rugby union you know it, it doesn't you know as long as it's got the rugby word in there and the, yeah. the, the passing a ball you know it would be great to see more of it because like, it's great to watch the football the last is yeah. playing football it's absolutely brilliant you know so 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 yeah absolutely get that so okay let, let's just change the tack a little bit just tell us about your team and your setup and who you've got where and who's doing what um so i'll still be team managing um well for the last sort of like three seasons i've team managed coached and first aided <laughs> But yeah. Welcome, Wolverston. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am not doing all that. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoy my coaching, um, mm. and there'd be me. Like I say, it isn't just me coaching. I, I'll be team manager still, but sort of you know our team, and, and it's a fantastic team, wealth of knowledge. Um, we have uh, Simon, who he originally coached the uh, Barrow Ladies before they went Super League. He got them to that point. Um, so he, he's part of our coaching team. Uh, we also have um, Roski, he's from Millen. Wealth of experience, um, you know, coaching. Uh, and then we've got uh, Nat, who's uh, Nat Saunders. She's she, sort of like, she's, she's like, do a coach, do a not coach, but she's excellent, you know. So it, it's quite nice to not be the only female in this coaching team. Um, <laughs> as well so you know it's really good right and then and obviously what about the players, players. <laughs> yeah i was just playing stuff looking how are they looking yeah What's on so, yeah um obviously we've got our our players you know from from last season um and then we've got a open training session uh that's oh my goodness um and i haven't wrote that down now well i can't remember where that's Saturday, the, is it some sa Saturday the twelfth? Is it the twelfth? I might have to. Uh, we might have to stop this and re-record it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be all right. Don't worry. We'll get. We'll put that out as a, as a message with this. Don't yeah, worry about what yeah. There'll be a post going out, so I'm sure it's Saturday the twelfth. Oh, that's, that's so embarrassing now. Um, yeah. So that's um, ten till twelve. That is for anybody to come along. Um, and, and just give it a go whether they've played rugby before haven't played rugby um, not touched the ball since school it's no pressure it's just to come along and you know have a go um, just you know it's, Is that down it, it's not it, it's down at Dragley Beck yeah it's not it's not um, it's not a trial it's not anything like that it's just come along put your boots on trainers whatever and just come and have um, just come and have some you know fun and and see what you think of you know the team and everything like that so um our training sessions are starting just again uh just pa getting the ball passing round and you know a little bit of fitness we're starting on thursday the 28th of november just for a couple of sessions before christmas up at the um in uvhs activity hall and that's seven till eight so again anyone who wants to come along you know is is absolutely fine you know just come along it sounds fantastic that and you know what you, you know i was always going to ask you about what message you want to give at the back end of this and i think you kind of like give it there which is all about come along and give it a go and i think you know it feel it's highly recommended we do this sort of stuff highly recommended yeah. the thing is i think so, it, the, the beauty of it now at the minute is if you come along and you're like oh don't know come to come to the touch build your confidence build your skills and then you know move along to the you know the, the full contact team but our touch team like i say joined in with the baron district ladies last year Um, like a lot of the touch teams you know as as a touch team we've got really good rapport with the other team you know around us um we've been to Dalton training and you know Walney and so it, it'd be good you know anyone just come mm. along to the the open session and give it a go 
Yeah, great stuff. And uh, how do people get in touch with you, Ruth? If they, you know, before so then? we have, um, yeah, we've we've we'd had a Facebook page which was Barron and District uh, Ladies, but we've we've changed the name has changed and it's it's Ulriston Ladies now. So we're on Facebook. Um, I can post that link on to Ulverston's Facebook page. Um, and yeah, just join us and get in touch with the page if you want to come along and give it a go. You know, even if you can't make the training sessions before Christmas or our, you know, open session on, on the on the 12th, just, you know, get in touch with the page and, and come at whenever you can. You know, it might be after Christmas when things, you know, Christmas, it's busy and everything, isn't it? Come after Christmas, it's absolutely fine. Oh, what a run off the rare Christmas pudding them up, people, aren't they? So hopefully we'll get some more. Yeah. I think it's important to mention though as well, isn't it, that, you know, for instance, it's called Ulverson, you know, Ladies Rugby Leasing, but it's not just for Ulverson ladies. This is about, no. you know, community, a community yeah. club. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Ulverson obviously have, have, have come in and, and, you know, sort of taken on the the team the financial part of the team and you know and, and providing you know training venues and like i say um lisa has has, has been great in, in sorting things out um tosh anything you need again you know just you know you just have to ask um but yeah this is it is a team for for this area you know, it doesn't matter if you live in Barrow, it doesn't matter if you live in Kendall, it doesn't matter if mm. you've played Union, all, you know, come and have a go, come and play, you know, and, and enjoy the, you know, being with the team. They're a good group of girls, you know, you've got a good group of coaches that have got a lot of experience, a lot of skills, um, you know, with both of the, you know, Sai and Roski, they've, they've coached, you know, men and, and females so yeah wealth of knowledge there um and it, it helps my development too you know i haven't i've only coached for sort of five years so i'm i'm still learning learning all the time hmm. do you fancy coaching the first team by the way all of a sudden we're uh, first no. team no <laughs> i don't blame you they suck more than anybody else <laughs> no no, definitely no, I, not. I think that might that might be one <laughs> step too far. That <laughs> it's one step too far for most people. No, yeah. Ruth, look, that's that's absolutely brilliant. You know, for, what I've took from this now is that you know, you 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 bid the reserve side, your community team. We're just looking. We're looking for a new home to try and really settle into the community area. We've got two sides to this. We've got the touch and we've got the contact. Um, we've now got this home. We've got a good setup already, and it just feels if it's ready to kind of like really explode and really get some fresh people down there, and ju just for people to enjoy and develop themselves and become a great yeah. community club. Well, so I, I think you've, you know, what what you guys is do is 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 absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and all and all, and all credit to you. So I guess it goes back to the last one, and we're gonna gonna wrap it up now. Is is there any other further messages you want to give out to, you know, young lasses who might be watching this, older lasses who might be watching this? Come and give it a go. Our oldest player this season, is she 52? Brilliant. Age is just, oh. age is just a number. If, if you, you know, and, and this is, We've got people, you know, players that have come after having the kids and like, actually, I just want to do something for myself. They've got involved, you know, um, and like I say, the the age group for, for playing, you, you've got to be 17 on the, you know, you, you can't play before that. But you're more than welcome from 16 to come and train, you know, build them yeah. skills up. So when you're 17, you know, you're ready to go. Um, Way to go, yeah. yeah so come along to the to training sessions like i say everything will get put out on social media mm. Um, you can't play until you're 17 but like i say you still you're learning those skills aren't you um mm. yeah if you even if you think mm, you know i'm 30 can't do it you can if, you know i think it, it's all about it it's mindset give it a go no, I'm trying to Ruth, my sister into doing it. She's she she's 
he's older than me and i'm like go on you, you do you do it you do it yeah damn right get them all in get them all in i know I might, have a crack, I might have a crack myself this season but um my daughter won't let me uh. <laughs> Well, there we go. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you might be a bit of a persuader. But Ruth, w w just on behalf of everybody at Olsen Rugby and, and and the community as well, more than welcome to come on board. We really are excited about this. It feels like it's a real new era for for, for the club and the town and the the district. And I just think we've yeah. got a great opportunity to try and get this to work right. There'll be bumps along the way and won't be a straight line. But you know, I'm you know working again. I think we'll, we've got something really good here. So, all credit to you and your team. Really, really appreciate everything you do. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to um, seeing you play next season and maybe get you on uh, YouTube as well on the videos where I normally go on there and slag people off. But I'll have to be careful what I do with you guys, I suppose. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as okay, I said, well, you look... know, I mean, Ulverston. Well, they they. They videoed two of our games, um, you know, last last season when we were Barron District, and it the girls enjoyed that that seeing that you know how they were playing where they needed to be, you know, it, it's really good. And yeah. at our at this level, um, there's not many teams get the the game videoed, you know, to be mm. able to look back and and see where they need to improve, you know, and it, it's good for players, it's good for coaches. It's good for us it to is. watch. So then you take it back into training, don't you, of what you need to work on. So, so, yeah. so we do, I mean, just speak through LA 12 live streams, he, he obviously is, is the brains all behind this lot. And, uh, you know, whilst we do make, make it like high at the time, it is very important, like you've just said there, to look at yourselves, play where you stood and, and, and yeah. the user analyze. The only unfortunate thing for us in the first team is that other clubs used to analyze our game before they used to come and play against us. So, yeah, yeah it was a whole bit of fun there. Right, well, look, Ruth, yeah. it was wonderful speaking to you. We're going to, we'll draw it to a yeah. close now. Uh, once again, yeah. thank you very much. And, um, yeah, here's the next season, eh? Looking forward to it. <laughs> okay. You have a good night. Yeah, same to you. Thank you.